Kings, thanks for joining me. This week, we're getting our Passport Kings travel-based bucket list ready so we can conquer the world. Engage. All right, I know you already got some type of list that you want to get done before you kick the bucket. It may only be written down in your head, or just discussed in personal discussions with some of your friends. But on this week's episode of Passport King, we're gonna make your lifetime to-do list so powerful in your psyche that they'll change from being just a weak thought into a feeling so powerful that you'll have no choice but to get them done. So you can finally start marking those things off your list. So watch this commercial really, really quickly and we'll get started. Do you have a group event travel excursion or bus trip road trip that you would like my groups fans and newsletter subscribers and weekly viewers to know about come to www.passportkings.com trips and fill out the form so i can advertise your event for one week two weeks or a whole month so again if you want to advertise with passport kings go to passportkings.com trips and we can get that done all right, so here are the steps to not only create your compelling bucket list, but more importantly, to make it into a reality. Because there's no use of ever dreaming big if it's never gonna become a reality. Why dream about a Maserati or Aston Martin if you're never gonna put a workable plan together so you could get one of them things, man? And as we all know, chronic disappointments makes you a banana face hater, and yes, Haters may be a handy road trap to let you know that you're on your on the right path to get into your goal, but still, you're just a hater, and that's pathetic. All right, so here's step one. Get your shit together. And when I say shit, I mean pencil, pad, notepad, something. You have to, you have to be able to write this stuff down, man. I mean, even get a three-ring binder if you have to, and you probably will have to, because you have to keep a hard copy of your thoughts. And yes, your thoughts are subject to change, but how are you gonna keep track of where you're going with your thoughts unless you know where you've been with your thoughts? And if changes happen, all you need is an eraser or some whiteout, but knowing where your stuff is, when a new idea pops into your head, that's vital. As we all know, thoughts can sometimes fade just as quickly as it materializes. But you know, a good thing is we always, all of us always have our cell phones on us. And everyone, has a smartphone with a text-to-speech memo pad. So make a shortcut to it on your home screen so you can hit the icon easily whenever you need to. But just be sure to transfer ideas to paper as soon as possible. Here's step two. It's almost impossible to have a default list of things that you find exciting in the forefront of your brain at all times. And like I said in step one, a lifetime goals list is not static, it's dynamic. And that means that you cannot predict when and where it might change. Because yo, the first time I saw the Dubai video about the jetpacks, that knocked everything down a notch. And that was recently, and I fell in awe and in love. And I'm sure things like that will happen to you occasionally. Yo, bucket list is in some way your way of expressing who you actually really are. But the good thing is, it'll change you from a talker to a doer. And everyone with any common sense knows that every time you do something that you always wanted to do, it's like seeing progress in motion. You want to have a life full of progress, man. And you're in essence becoming a better person. You're becoming a better person than those who always planning to do something but never get around to it. And you know, that also means that list items, they don't have to be groundbreaking. I mean, have you ever wanted to go on a walk and talk with your mother through Central Park in New York City? That would be far easier to get done, but it's just as good to mark it off your list when you finally do it. So do me a favor and don't forget the inexpensive small things when you're making your list. Here's step three, time for the first draft. Start writing and do it fast. No order, no bullets, no numbering. Just put your pen to the paper and start going. Take out your phone, look at your uh, your memo pad notes, and just jot them joints down as fast as possible with every idea that comes in your head. Write, write, write. And remember, this is not meant to be perfect. This is your first draft. 
This is an exercise in get up off your ass and do something. Stop procrastinating. That's what this first draft is about. It's about you not procrastinating anymore. So yo, write down things that aren't even real if you need to, if that keeps you writing. I remember the first time I did this one and my mentor showed me it, I wrote down that I wanted to get bit by a radioactive spider. The idea is to get the brain sparks in motion. And once you do that, the brain is so amazing that it'll subconsciously start coming up with things on its own. Now here's step four, now clean up that mess you made. All right, now that you got that page full, or the two pages that you got full, go through a line and scratch out all of the impossible tasks. You know me, I hate to use the word impossible because just a few years ago, some dumb, know-it-all, impossible monger, they would've told me that jetpacking through Dubai is impossible. They would've told me that visiting strange new worlds in virtual reality was impossible. Well, it's not anymore, so to them, Today, we are going to have the final say about what is and what isn't impossible. But really, look over your things and think for a moment before you say there's no way your wacky idea could be saved. Perhaps some things need to be altered or just a little bit more attainable. For example, swinging through New York on spider webs is probably a little bit hard to do right now. So we're going to put that on maybe a 20 year list instead of a next five year list. Okay, and if you wrote down that you're gonna learn every language, maybe you could just narrow that down to learning the, the languages that, of the places that you know you're gonna be going soon. Like, you gotta learn Portuguese, Spanish, and maybe French or something like that. This step can turn out to be a little bit hard because while you need to get rid of tasks that you know probably won't ever be completed, this is a list of self-developing. And erasing one of those tasks that you always knew you wanted to do it might be you not having the courage that you need in order to get that task done. So make sure that when you're scratching something out, you're absolutely sure that it has nothing to do with fear or anything like that. All right, now here's step five. Write your second draft of your list. Don't be put off by the fact that it looks relatively short or only has a handful of tasks on it. Because the beauty of a bucket list is that it will never be completed. You will be constantly adding to it when new ideas strike you. So, never concentrate on completing the bucket list itself, just make sure you concentrate on completing the task in that bucket list. Just like you'll be adding things to that uh, bucket list that you want to do, like jet flying, you, you're probably going to be erasing some things too that have become less desirable to you after a while, you know? Remember, you're not the employee of this bucket list, you're the employer. You make the things happen. You're the boss of this list. Don't let the list control you. All right, here's number six. Start small. Don't rush off to book your round the world plane tickets just yet. Make sure you have something on that list that you can accomplish today. If your joint got something about losing weight, go to your refrigerator right now, swing it open, put a garbage can in front of it, and just start throwing things in there. Don't think about it, just do it. You gotta, you gotta push yourself sometime. If you can't stomach yourself doing something like that, throw something away that you know is not the most nutritious food. Getting that task behind you or doing that first step, that makes such a big difference. If you've never been to like North Carolina and you always want to go there for some reason, book a ticket going there. Just go, just go, just go, book a ticket. Even if you gotta get on a freaking Greyhound bus, book a ticket and go so your body and your mind can start being used to just you getting up and going and more importantly, you getting up and doing what you said you were gonna do. Concentrating on the easier to do task will get you in the motion and it will encourage you when you're working on the bigger task. More importantly, realize that the things that are on your bucket list are unique. No one else has the same bucket list as you. So, this list of things need to be completed by you. No one else can do it for you. How you experience things is the real value behind a bucket list. And it's not in competition with anyone. It's for you. All right, so it's not about competing with nobody else. It's about making your life more exciting. Number seven is be on a constant lookout for new ideas. Get into the habit of looking for new ideas and finding new things everywhere. TV, books, the internet, even even like 
tickets to shows that you probably would have never want to see. Never have limits, you know? As long as you're not hurting nobody, you should be doing everything that you can on this earth. We only get to live once, man. But just remember, it's important to be completing your task while you're finding new ones. Don't get complacent to a point where you're just writing down new bucket list items and you're not completing the ones that you already have. Number eight is find meaning in your bucket list. Find meaning in what selections you make, find meaning in achieving them joints. The main thing is to find out why you wanna do the things that you wanna do. This way you can make it all new list that's gonna direct you and guide you into living the life of happiness. Your attitude about your goals changes all the time. Either remove them or reshape them to fit your new needs. The idea is to strive for inner fulfillment and inner growth. Not to tie yourself down to things that you know you're no longer interested in. Alright, so if the idea of writing a lifelong list is kind of like seems impossible to you, just write one that says, this is what I'm gonna do for the next five years. If that seems like it's too long, say, this is what I'm going to do over the next year. You can get that stuff done. I know traveling and, and exploring new worlds and seeking out new life and do. I know that takes money, but there's so many opportunities out there to make money while traveling. One is on my website. Go to www.passportkings.com slash contact us. Fill out that form. There's a way to make money while you travel. So if you have anything to add to this topic, Write it below. I always read my comments and I always uh, I always reply to them. Plus, if you want to talk to if you want to talk to me on Facebook, go to facebook.com/slash Passport Rock. That's my personal page. I don't have over five thousand uh, friends yet, so you can still you can still become my friend. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Plus, do me that favor and uh, subscribe to this page right here, Passport Kings. Uh, the the show we come out every Wednesday. I come out every Wednesday. So um, subscribe to this this page right here. This is Passport Kings. This is the YouTube channel. It's YouTube slash C slash Passport Kings. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And be a friend of my Facebook groups and my Facebook like pages. Stay motivated. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do. Yo, one of the funniest things that happened to me when I started when I decided that I was going to start traveling as much as I wanted to travel it was people saying yo you're throwing away your responsibilities my responsibility is for myself I have to have mental happiness and if traveling is the only thing that brings me that type of happiness who is someone else to tell me that I shouldn't be doing that live your life don't let nobody tell you what to do live your life as a king a passport king. I'll see you next week with that weight loss challenge. Peace out. You're becoming a better person too. It's like three, it's like virtual reach. No. <laughs>